Grazie. La parola al Commissario Avramopoulos. Grazie, signor Presidente. Volevo prima di tutto segnalare che sono d'accordo con lei. Voglio anche ringraziare lei e anche i gruppi politici del questa, del, di questo Parlamento per il loro sostegno. Il lavoro per questo Parlamento è importante per finire la riforma da Dublino giusto e efficiente per tutti gli Stati membri. La Commissione e il Parlamento lavorano mano a mano come sempre. Dear colleagues, the events of the last few days concerning the Aquarius boat remind us of the gravity of the migratory challenge in the Central Mediterranean and of its humanitarian implications. We cannot turn our eyes off on what is happening even after three years of progress in managing flows. We cannot afford to become complacent. What matters most is that people in a desperate situation were saved and helped. That is what counts ultimately and always. I want to be clear on that. I will not enter into any blame game today. Everybody needs to take their responsibilities and play their role in solidarity. In the case of the Aquarius boat, I welcome that a solution was found and I commend the decision of the government of Spain. I would like also to commend Italy and many other member states that are upholding our values and taking up their share of, of European responsibility for many years now. Just remember where we were three years ago and where are we today. We should not lose sight of the efforts these member states have done in the past and continue to do so. Indeed, while the Aquarius will disembark in Spain, more than 900 people were disembarked this morning in Catania, in Italy. So Italy continues to take up its responsibilities. Our central objective is, and I think we all agree on this, to avoid in the first place that people fleeing from poverty, persecution or violence put their lives at risk embarking in perilous journeys. It puts people's lives at risk. It creates tensions within our societies, as shown by the strong reactions in the social media. To this end, our action is much more effective if it starts before they embark on these journeys on the other side of the Mediterranean. On this, we have already achieved results and we have to continue strengthening our cooperation with countries of origin and transit to address root causes of migration and avoid that people fall in the hands of smugglers' networks. Let me give you a few examples. Thanks to our good cooperation with IOM and UNHCR, we have helped more than 25,000 migrants to leave Libya and voluntarily return to their countries of origin. We have supported the evacuation of 1,474 migrants in need of international protection from Libya to other countries, including Niger, in view of their resettlement as refugees. Resettlement should be the normal way to Europe for those who need protection. Finally, we continue training the staff of the Libyan Coast Guard to enhance its capacity to carry out search and rescue operations at sea, which has so far resulted in 16,000 migrants rescued. We are strengthening our monitoring after training to ensure full respect of human rights. 
we also support financially Egypt, Morocco and Tunisia to better control their borders and fight smugglers' networks. Protecting the external borders is essential on both sides of the Mediterranean. Protecting our European external borders is and will remain among our top priorities. We have made significant progress since the establishment of the European Borders and Coast Guard, but we need to continue. We proposed yesterday to almost triple funding for migration and border management to 34.9 billion euros for the period between 2021 to 2027, compared to 13 billion euros in the previous period. This comprehensive approach delivers results. The peak of arrivals over the past few days should not overshadow the progress that we have achieved to significantly reduce the migratory pressures in Italy. This year, arrivals to Italy have dropped by 78% compared to last year. So far, 13,000 arrived this year compared to 90,000 last year. But when migrants engage in dangerous, perilous journeys in the Mediterranean, our humanitarian imperatives to help people in distress should come first. To truly prevent situations such as the Aquarius, we cannot be satisfied with ad hoc solidarity. We need a comprehensive approach and rules to ensure that uh, the responsibility of assisting migrants is not on the shoulders of just a few member states. The Commission has used and will continue to facilitate an open and frank dialogue and to find durable solutions based on solidarity and responsibility. Migration is definitely not a challenge for one or a handful of member states, but for the European Union as a whole and all its member states. Our migration policy can only succeed if we work together in a spirit of solidarity and sincere cooperation and, most importantly, in trust. Not if each country proceeds with unilateral and uncoordinated initiatives or feels authorized to only look at its own national situation and interests. We are therefore looking forward to continue working closely with Italy and the new Italian government to continue to manage migration flows on the central Mediterranean route. But, as I said before, this is not just an Italian issue. We expect all the member states to join forces in sharing their solidarity and responsibility and addressing this truly common challenge. This is the essence of our all efforts, whether it is saving lives in the Mediterranean or better protecting our shared external borders, or coming to an agreement on a reformed common European asylum system as part of the comprehensive approach on managing migration better. Only united we will stand. It is very important for us to understand that it's part of the legacy of this Parliament, of this Commission, for the years to come, because migration will be with us for many, many decades ahead. We have to be better prepared, more united, and resolved to give solutions having always as priority how to save lives and protect the ones who are in need of genuine protection. Thank you.